Uh, how about the team trying to get out of the East basement? Year four for Chris Ash at Rutgers. Art Sikaski back as the starting QB. Turnovers were a huge issue for him, remember, and the team as a whole last year. 29 turnovers. That was the second most in the nation. New defensive coordinator Andy Boo coming over from Maryland. John McNulty returns as the OC. First time in a long time they've had no turnover in that spot. So let's take a look at what it looked like on Saturday. There is Art Sitkowski, and he certainly has the arm. Throwing the bullet here to Bo Melton for the touchdown was 22 of 30, 216 yards. This was the issue, though, last year, the interception. We see one here to Deion Jennings picking it off. You just got to take care of the football. You saw a negative 14 on the turnover margin last year. You're not going to be able to win or compete in football games if you turn the football over that much. This is Raheem Blackshear, who really showed some promise last year, 45 yards here. Charles Snorway has been around for a while, hasn't been heard of all that much, but had a really nice game on Saturday. 134 yards, a couple touchdowns for him. Yeah, him and Blackshear are guys, Blackshear we've seen a ton. Snorway not so much, but Blackshear has been making plays for years now in the Big Ten. Hey, here's Snorway, 75 yards for the touchdown, turns on the mm. Jets. This is an offense that needs some explosiveness. Jay, got to figure out a way to get that going, and maybe Snorway. Provides that. Now, a touching moment here. You've got Tommy Marquetta, an 11-year-old with autism, throwing here to Lamont Banks, a 19-year-old who's fighting leukemia. And that turns into a 96-yard touchdown, which not so coincidentally would be the longest play in Rutgers football history in terms of uh, a touchdown. So a, a really good moment right there. And we've seen a lot of this through the years right. of teams giving young people opportunities like that in spring games and can't say enough about how touching those moments are. As for the, the Rutgers football team, it's pretty clear what they need to do. They have to get better offensively. Yeah, and it's going to help that they have a, a second-year offensive corner in John McNulty. You know, I'm, gl I'm glad that they have some continuity there. I think Art Sitkowski needs that more than anybody. Raheem Blackshear is a guy that is good not only running the football, but catching the football out of the backfield. Bo Melton can make some plays, but you just can't turn the football over. Literally, it was a turnover fest last year. And I think Art Sitkowski is going to be better. Of course, the division, the East Division, doesn't do them any favors. No, it's a very <laughs> difficult hurdle. There, there's no doubt about that. But, I mean, you're talking about now three straight years, 128th in the nation in total offense. So when you can't move the ball and then you compound it by giving away the ball, that's, it's a brutal combination. It's really, it's really tough. And the defenses in that division and in the Big Ten, especially with their crossovers, they're not easy either. They also play Boston College as a non-count opponent. That doesn't help as well. I hear you. The, the McNulty piece, I think, is really important. Right. I mean, one of the things you mentioned it, the lack of continuity, they have literally had 10 offensive coordinators in nine years because they had one year <laughs> with co-coordinators. So, I mean, year in and year out, turning right. over, there's just no way that you can improve like that. So, again, Sitkowski, they recognized the talent last year. McNulty coming back, and you hope that equates to a step forward for Rutgers.